Very interesting today. <laughs> this subject is <laughs> Kublai Khan, born on 23rd September 1215 in the Mo Mongol Empire, died on 18 February 1294 in Khanbalik, was founder of the Yuan, Yuan dynasty of Chugoku in China, and the fifth Khagan emperor of the Mongol Empire from 1260 to 1294. Kublai Khan said, I have heard that one can conquer the empire on horseback. But one cannot go on it on horseback. It's almost very close to the saying, you can take the horse to the river, but you cannot make it drink. The whole tradition of family culture, or the head of the family, disappeared. Reason one is maybe the leaders do not want the family to live together. They become strong to question them back or the joint family or the family tree. The second one is what Kublai Khan said. I have heard that one can conquer the empire on horseback. You one can become the head of the family by sitting on the chair where you call it chairman, head of the family. And from the chair, you throw gibberish. But one cannot go on it on horseback. You cannot go on it by sitting on the chair. Hence, all the chief ministers and prime ministers sitting on the chair start shivering because they know they cannot go on by sitting on the chair. The moment they sit on the chair, it's gone. You have to move with the public. Movement is your growth. In, in Okinawa, there is a, gr a, a group of people stays in a particular jungle, lives more than 100, 140 years, longer than anybody else in the whole world. Nobody less than 100. Investigation team went and they found out. What's the reason? And no reason. Simple reason is they don't sit in one place, not on the chair. They keep on moving and doing it. Work, work in the field, not in the gymnasium. Not in the kitchen. They keep on moving non-stop. Yes, non-stop movement is healthy. Kublai Khan understood that I've heard that one cannot conquer the empire on horseback. Hence, there is always trouble with the managing directors and chairman who are sitting on the chair. When they work with the people, the family we sit together, each together, prays to goes together, goes, what's the saying when you sit with your family? Yes. I've been telling this for a very long time. Think about it. I have heard that one can conquer the empire on horseback. You can conquer all the money that you needed to buy a beautiful mansion, send your children to international schools and have enough FDs, fixed deposits in the bank happily. But one cannot go on it on horseback, but you couldn't go on your children or your wife. You couldn't love your children, neither they could love you. All that what you made on the top of your hard labor is gone because you did not melt. Never mind, you go to your company and you work hard, but consciously, not blaming them in working. When you blame them in work, the blame follows you back into your home. And then when you reach home, you are very tired. You have no time to... You found that in your company, in your factories, that those people are not sitting with you. You're working like a machine. But they don't have to sit with you. You can sit with them. You can melt with the machines. You can talk to the machines. 
like how the Hindus in India, they go to the machine, Ayuda Puja, they call it. Any the Ayuda means the, the weapon which you use it, the trade materials what you use it. It is 24 bar sale with you. And every day it is cleaned and polished. Polished is very important. And they put uh, to they, they feel that that weapon is a god when you have to converse. Hence, they touch and talk to the weapon. Yes, they talk to the weapon. They talk to the materials. If it is an electrician, even if screwdriver, he cleans it up and kisses it. Yes, carpenter kisses his materials. When you can kiss your family and the family is your weapon, you respect, you love, you talk, you converse. That is the greatest puja. Hence in India we have Ayutha Puja. Once in a year, the big festival of bringing not only your Ayutha, you bring Ayutha all your materials, what you used. Everybody in the house materials come to one place because they don't have that. Every day they are doing puja of their own, cleaning of their own, polishing and rubbing. Yes. Every day. Every day is a must. Then no MLA, no MP, no minister, no chief minister starts shivering because they are every day with the people in the slums, in the struggle, in the storm rain, in the hottest season when they are struggling with water. Much before the hot season comes, they have a task force to make sure whether they are getting enough water. Whether during the summer time disease spreads with the hospitals, all are encased and kept in proper order to rush up and non stop blaring out not the spiritual songs but this song of telling the people what to take, what not to take. And when the rainy season comes, it is the same. Much before the rains come, all the drains are cleaned so the water can rush beautifully to ponds and rivers and lakes. And what they can grow beautifully and much before the rains, the houses ought to be repaired so the water doesn't enter the school building the offices. Winter time, yes, enough. Woolen clothing for everybody. That is, you cannot go on it horseback means. If you go with them, you can conquer and you can still govern them also. It means you can still love them. You can melt with them. You, they are not separate. You are the weapon, your factory and your family is not separate. They are one, provided you sit with them. Hence, marriages, they say, husband melts with the wife. Wife melts with the husband. They are not separate. They are one. And the husband and wife join together and the children together becomes one. It's difficult to break, difficult to crack that nut. It's a powerful love organ. And when you and the factory becomes one, when the MLN MPs and the ministers and the prime ministers become one with the people, more with the people, yes. Then there won't be any poverty, there won't be any fear. When the leaders are living in fear, people live in fear. When leaders are living in fear and people are living in fear, the enemies knows they are living in fear. Who knows? The diseases know the body is living in fear because the, the body is not moving. Stagnant water is still flowing, water is fresh. The body is stagnant. When body is stagnant, it is not participating with the sun such a powerful body it is not making the whole body participate in all the activities if you don't if you like it you pluck it if you love it you water it you are not watering every part of your body when you don't water every part of your body then the diseases knows they'll attack and Indian government also knows next slides came up because they, they were not been able to water every part of India you don't have to rush the electricity board to give them lives in the night, right in the villages. Teach them solar and give them solar lights. Ask, teach them how to collect rainwater instead of collecting some other uh, Hawala money. Yes, that change that Hawala to rainwater and you live with love, love. Move mountains, 
Kublai Khan said, I have heard that one cannot, one can conquer the empire on horse. You can conquer your wife, you can conquer your husband, you can conquer your family, you can conquer the companies, but one cannot go on it on horseback. 